Well, Nigel Farage, Isabel Oakshot, one of our presenters on GB News and, and a top journalist herself, has tweeted this evening saying, if Boris Johnson knew about this party, then he is the one who should resign. He made the rules. Clearly, he didn't think they were worth following. The nation suffered and still does. How could he have turned a blind eye? Do you think this is a resignation matter? <coughs> Boris Johnson won't resign unless he's forced to resign by his own backbenchers. He's a career politician. Career politicians don't resign because they're not in politics for principle. They're in it to climb the greasy pole. I've said it's the beginning of the end of Boris Johnson, because why would anybody believe anything he ever says again, anything the government ever says again? And if they want, through Omicron, to start bringing in new regulations, why should any of us obey a single one of them? And that's the point at which government actually loses all credibility. The point at which we don't just grumble about government and decisions they make, but we decide en masse to disregard government is a very serious moment. And I think all confidence has been ebbing away in the Johnson government, certainly amongst conservative supporters, because, it's, I mean, it isn't even vaguely a conservative government. It's sort of a, a trendy West London, South West London, Richmond, Green, Liberal Democrat party. Uh, but, you know, lying, lying is the greatest sin. You do things wrong in life. You've done them, Dan. I've done them. You hold your hands up. <laughs> but, but actually... Yeah, exactly. I was wrong. Hands, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and, and actually, that can work. I remember Ronnie Reagan years ago, and he had lied to the American people over the, over the, over the funding um, in, 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 in South America. He went live on television and said, to you, the American people, like you, I'm a sinner too. I've done the most awful thing. I've told you an untruth and I apologise to you. And the whole of America said, oh, my God, isn't he marvellous? Because he fessed up to the thing. Boris has never fessed up to anything in his life. He's always got away with it. My opinion is he won't get away with this.